All right. What's up, guys? What's going on? Breakdown Season 2, Episode 4. This is the camp out that is... Told my voice. If you want to wear. We here? There we it is. is. Uh, quite a bit of shoes that dropped uh, today, but we'll get into them anyway just because they're still sitting online. So uh, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You want to start? Huh, huh? Every single pair has like, a different name, but it's cool. I like the EQT uh, Advanced. Advanced are the best ones. EQ EQT Support Ultra Prime Knit. Black and white. I don't really got to say my opinions on these, but... Black and white. Trash. Hmm, not a fan. As not always. even white laces will, will work, but... We'll save this. Uh, they got it in, it looks like two colors, black and white. So an all black body with a uh, white boost and an all, looks like a sail kind of upper with the, the white boost, whatever. We'll skip right along. We'll leave them together. Uh, same thing, we got uh, EQT Support Advantage Prime Knit Shoes. These are all pulled from the Adidas website. So you'll have the price point, which is 140. The, the other two were 180. I'll put the prices with them as we're talking about it. But uh, this is what I was talking about. You got black with, black upper with a white midsole, and then you got a little hit of the infrared pink on the heel counter on the lower portion of the outsole. Uh, kind of clean. I like the colorway. It, it just is what it is. The shape of the shoe is nice. The silhouette's dope. I'm, I'm sure you're... I love the EQT uh, support. What is it? Ad Advance or Advantage? Advance, I think. I don't know. ADV, they're, they're fucking dope. I like them. Kind of fire. These are the ones that I copped, as a matter of fact. I, All black pair? Yeah, I went to the um, the Goodwill out. One of my friends put oh, me got on. The pink lining. Yeah, exactly why I copped. And uh, <laughs> I wound up copping on uh, the Goodwill out, and then Adidas had dropped them online, so... I guess I'll have to wait a little bit longer to get them in, so a review will be up. But it's an all-black body on the advanced uh, EQT support or EQT support ADV. Um, with a, it's like a pink or infrared liner on the sock liner on the inside, so it's really so Great color. very very dope, uh, clean fire. But either way, it'll be out there. You want to take the next one? The next EQT uh, support ADV advanced advantage whatever half black half infrared pink. That pink is fire. Mm -hmm. I don't like that plastic. Mm. That plastic piece, but kind of throws it off a little bit. Yeah, just just a little bit. But I mean, they're killing it, I guess. Allegedly, uh, 110 for both of these, by the way. Good uh, price. You next can't go up, wrong you got that. EQT support RF, not Runny Five, but RF. Um, I don't know what the RF stands for, but they're 100 bucks. Um, it's basically the same thing as the, I guess, the uh, EQT support with the colorway, just a different backing, and uh, yeah, it kind of looks identical on the midsole too. I, I think one of these. Uh, EQT supports, they have like, they combine both years. I think it was like 93 with the 2017 model. Yeah, 9317. And then last year was, uh, what was it? They put 92? Yeah. 16? It's just. It, it's 9216 in the women's shoe. That's a little okay. further down, but we're, yeah. we were over here. Uh, so there's two colorways in that black with the infrared, whatever. We're just going to breeze through. I'll put the pictures up so you guys can see what's going on. But majority of them are black and white with that hit there's, of pink. Uh, what is it? Oh, there's actually four colorways of that one. So there's the pink, the black, the gray, and, and, the uh, and a white. And then an also an all pink, which is really Is it much. a prime knit or? Uh, just as RF. Doesn't say, uh, it doesn't say PK. Usually PK stands for prime knit. Yeah. Uh, next roll, they got women's too, so we'll do the women's as well. Um, if you wear a smaller size and men's, I think it goes up to a size 11 because I was going to get the all infrared one but either way you got this eqt racing 9116 which is a combination obviously like he was just speaking about uh kind of looks like what's that what's that nike shit that looked like the uh, uh, ninja shoe it kind of i was looks, thinking about those too man. it kind of looks like that they're but, so weird but i mean they're made for running like yeah. they're not breathable whatever. i guess whatever there's a couple colorways of that there's two uh one with like a salmon kind of heel counter area and the other one is all black with the infrared on the entire outsole one's boost and one is not it does, yeah, one. This one's boost. The uh, ninety-one sixteen is boost, and the ninety-one is just the original silhouette, I guess. I guess they put the sixteen because the boost because technology the boost, yeah. on it. So and you take the next. This shit is fine. I like this one. Yeah, that's why I like. EQT it. support, ADV. It's just a regular EQT. That shape is crazy. Fire. That midsole is fire. The upper is trash because it's black. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far, but... But, I mean, it's dope. You got two... You actually have... Uh, you have three colorways of that. You have the black with the pink midsole. You have an infrared upper with a red outsole. And then you have a white upper with a white outsole. All very clean. If they came in a bigger size, I definitely would have copped the all red joint. Just because. Uh, next up, you got... Oh, there's one more colorway. I'm sorry. It's a black and... It's like a, a sail, black, gray, and white. It was like a navy blue. From combination. Um, they didn't do any with navy blue. Just to, to do a heads up. I was talking about the stripe from this. Oh. From this distance, it looks like navy blue. Mm-hmm. 
Roger that. You can take the next one. More Adidas EQT. Fantastic job, guys. Way to knock it out the ballpark. All white. It's just a... Uh, this is the no. same men's one. It's the men's one. No, but I'm saying this is the, the, the Chinese one. New Year one. No, no, negative. No, not that one. They all look the same. Yeah, so. they kind of do. But this is just the uh, the women's version of the men's one we were talking about before. EQT yeah. support RF. Uh, moving right along, you can listen to. Adidas is done. All right, we're done. With we're out the neighborhood. We almost got beat up. Bait. Los Angeles Kings. Reebok. <laughs> I can't. I can't say nothing nice about the shoe, man. I can't. Oh, cause it's black and white. Yeah. yeah. I kind of like. I kind of like the... Uh, it's for uh, for the hockey fans out there, if you yeah. guys don't know. But it's just... I don't know. I black just, and white. Honestly, it looks kind of clean if you like black and white. That That's really where I'll leave that. Look, King, if you're an L.A. fan, whatever. Yeah. Uh, next up, you have the Chinese oh, New Year, which is Adidas <laughs> EQT Support 93 CNY, which is Chinese New Year. It has a... Uh, a rooster or a cock on the back of the shoe. Real basic though, nothing really crazy about it. It's got like that sail upper. It looks like it might have a little bit of suede hitting there, which is kind of cool, but overall it's just another EQT. Uh, next up. There's a two colorways, no? Does not change New Year and block? Nope, definitely no. not. EQT support, again, Ultra Boost, Prime Knit, Core Black. It's just. Mop, mop. The shade? I, I, like, I like the shading though. The shading yeah. looks kind of nice. I'm just glad that it's not like all one black. Some mm. kind of shade is like, like you said, different shade in all of it. So like one panel is darker than the other. It's cool. If you like black and white, if you're into kind of stuff like that, it's all you. Moving right along, you got. Uh, I thought these dropped. This already. is the restock actually. So restock of the Spear Don Ultra. Um, if you guys are a fan, you're a fan. Colorways are right. The silhouette's a little bulky for me. Not really a big. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of it. A lot of people like this colorway out of all of them. I like the Olympic colorway that they did with the gold. Did that it? was kind of fire. But other than that, I can't fuck with it. Dad shoes. Yeah. Nike Flyknit, Racer, University Red. And Just, that's that. <laughs> that's it. Uh, we're throwing some basketball stuff in here today. I got a little complaint the other day at a camp out that we yeah. were talking about basketball yeah. shoes. So, that's uh, crazy. Nike Kyrie 3 Brotherhood is the colorway. It's kind of clean, the colorway. I will give it that. I, I just don't, like I said, fuck with that's basketball shoes. Kentucky Blue that Richard? I, I guess so. I, I assume so. I should probably do a little more homework on basketball stuff since my Nike guy is kind of giving up on <laughs> Nike. Uh, Kyrie 3 Brotherhood. I, honestly, the, the colorway's clean. I like it. The sneakers whack. Well, you're just going to throw that out there. Come on, though. You agree, too. You know I, that. I don't like Kyrie's, but I mean, the colorway's cool. No, yeah, the it has like a, whatever. It has like a weird like print, kind of like some snarkitecture shit going on towards the back of the shoe. You see it? Like a fingerprint. Is that, is that what it is? I, I said it looks like it. I don't know. If it's it like is. crumbs. All right, anyway. <laughs> so, Limited down. EDT and Sabotage, Reebok, Instapump Fury. Nope. Whenever Instapump Fury follows whatever the collaboration is, it's, it's an, never good. An immediate no unless it's Concepts. Uh, I mean, Concepts did one. One good. good one. That's the only one I like. So, uh, moving along to the 28th, which is, uh, <laughs> what is that, Saturday? Saturday's the 28th? Saturday is the 28th. Yes, yeah. you got Hand in Times, Reebok, Club C, Comfortable Shoe. Claymore. It's kind of whack, but it's called the Claymore. I like this translucent thing that they're doing with the midsole, kind of fire. The colorway mixed with the midsole looks kind of dope. Just that the Club C is kind of. Uh, I don't know. A little crazy. I don't like it. It's just what? <laughs> what? It should have trash though. Like, uh, come on, man. Club C's not that bad. Shout out to Jake, though. That's oh, the homie. Jake, mm, Team Reebok all day. Uh, next up, you got... <laughs> Team Reebok only got one Reebok. Shout out to Extra Butter. We, there was actually another Reebok in there, the LA Kings. Oh, you're talking about in your collection? No, I'm talking about mine. I have my three, collection. and they're all Extra Butter. For real? Shout out to Extra Butter, like I Shout said. Shout out to the fam at EB. Ubic, Deodora N9000, Wizwit. I like it. The colorway's cool. The materials look really good. Yeah, look at that. From the pictures that I that were looking at, like it was. Mm. Well, it's like a. Uh, it's not like the toe box, the suede toe no, box, and the, the back is. Look at that mid panel. Look at that leather. In there. I know, but I'm saying like the back is leather, the front is suede. Just the way it's supposed Typical to be. color blocking, which is dope. I like it. Stop I like it. I, When's I, the last time you saw a brown and yellow fucking shoe? Uh, the Reebok from Extra Butter. They have brown and yellow on it. Oh my god. A little bit of yellow. But right, anyway, it, it's I, I like it. It's clean. I'm not really fond of that yellow too much, but the shoe looks really dope, so I kind of might yeah. just let that slide. It's dope. Uh, moving right along, we got Totolo, Atmos, or Titolo. Tito, 
this is also Titolo, uh, Atmos and Puma, this Blaze Desert Dusk. I like these a couple weeks back. I, I'm still a fan. They're restocking, it looks like. Is that a restock I see down there? Yeah, a restock on the 28th, which is uh, Saturday. Worldwide so, release. Is that what that means? Yeah. Restock, worldwide release? I guess so. Yeah, all right, cool. Yeah. I'll take that. Um, fire. I, I, I like the cam on the toe box. I like the burgundy mid body. I'm not opposed to the disc. It fits really nice. It's comfortable. I'm a fan. So. I like the, the color blocking and the contrast you know, of the burgundy and, the, and you know, the, the tan. And the browns. Like I just don't like. On yeah, I don't. I just don't like the toe box of it. Really? Pleasure, camo. I'm not. I, I'm not really big on camo, but I mean that colorway is dope. But it's just not for me. You want to take this basura? Basura. This is basura. This is just like straight trash. Straight trash. Undercover Nike Jungle Dunk. <laughs> jungle fucking trash. Retail <laughs> at two fifty. That's wild, by the way. Crazy. Not the shoes. The shoes not crazy. Well, the shoes a little out there. The shoes definitely crazy, but it's definitely out there. But I mean, it's not crazy and like in a good crazy. This, this is just... also a restock, by the way. Ugh. So leftover. Get us out of here. No, no. I'm, I'm going to talk about it. this because I, I kind of, I admire that they did something a little different. I don't like that they keep using the same silhouettes. It looks to do very something different. robotic. Yeah, I don't know, too there. futuristic for us, maybe. Yeah. Uh, next up, you got Nike Cortez, one of my favorites, old school style. Stop pre, it's uh, very reminiscent of the Forrest Gump kind of feel. Oh, so you pointed at me because he I had... thought you were going to say the name before I did. So no, I was going to leave it alone because I had the beard, that's why. Um, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I, I thought, I thought that's why you were saying it. Smiley he was face running with the you. Cortez. Uh, definitely dope, fire. I, I mean, it's real simplistic. It's basic. Good summer shoe, springtime, whatever you want to go with, a pair of shorts. You pretty much kill it with a white It goes with everything. <laughs> Yeah, I was waiting for that. It goes with everything for the summertime, man. You can't go wrong with it. Uh, this Classic. Is, this is the other colorway to the uh, Nike Undercover the Jungle jun Dunk. <laughs> jungle Dunk. Jungle tr whatever. I'll just put them together and we'll skip this whole Shit's thing. trash, man. Don't buy these shits, man. Uh, next up, you got some more B-ball no. shit. No. Why they did this to the On Pearl, man? I don't get it. Like, They had a, a very great run with the On Pearl whole series, but like, this is like the trash. It's straight trash. You're not feeling this? No, though, just black and pink. I mean, I understand the story behind the Aunt Pearl with Kevin Durant and, you know, it's to his aunt, but I mean, like, he should have had more say on this colorway mm. and did much more with it, but if you like it, you like it, black and pink, so whatever. The name of this shoe kind of makes me feel the same way about the shoe. Nike LeBron 14, out of nowhere. Uh, hmm, hmm. Don't bring it nowhere near me. I, I feel like it would probably be, like, a really supportive... I have really bad ankles, so, like... It's a performance suit. It's, it's definitely made for like a little bit higher, a little bit more support around the ankle area. That strap looks a little obtrusive, but it is what it is. The colorway is, is not that bad. They maybe took that striping off that mid panel there. I think maybe they took the green out. Maybe they took both those colors out and it was just black and gray. For real? You think it would look better without the, the, the pink? The jacket isn't bad, actually. The swoosh, the swoosh is nice. No, I mean like the pink line like is it some kind of... Eh, it's whatever. Yeah, it's still trash. What are we, oh. what are we thinking? Trying to like the shoe? Like, get out of here. Come on, though. You couldn't put this Adidas in the top? Man, more Adidas, man. This is a Foot Locker exclusive, though. Ooh. Just saying. We're talking about basketball shoes. Foot, foot Locker exclusive. Check you out, Foot Locker. Adidas NMD R1 Foot Locker exclusive. No price on it yet. It's black, white, and beige. And next. <laughs> uh, next up, you got another restock for Colette and Undefeated, the Samba. Well, no, that's the, uh, the Campus, Campus, 80 Campus 80 and uh, the Support 93. So those two colorways that dropped a little while back, obviously leftover stock. Uh, stuff's not moving. No, not it. leftover stock. It's a worldwide release from the Consortium pack that's dropping this year. I don't you know remember? why I keep thinking restock is fucking... Because I don't know... Why? So I get I get most of the, some of the stuff most of the stuff I get it from uh, the flavors and the other stuff I'll go to like sneaker blogs and stuff like that and I'll just copy and paste and it'll say restock so, and it says restock instead of worldwide release so I just keep reading restock like a dope yeah but uh, yeah so this will be your worldwide release there's a new consortium series that's dropping this year two different shops colliding together and they dropping two shoes every month it's kind of annoying you think so yeah. Until they drop like, like fire shit. Because like one's always gonna be better than the other and move and the other one's gonna sit. Like it's just an inevitability, so whatever. Well the campus 80 is pretty nice. Oh, you like that? It's simple. Yeah. More better than the EQT. Oh, more better. Like more that. better. Could you uh take the next shoe? Nope. I'm really trying to get through this. Adidas Hard in Volume 1. Disruptor right here. Retail 140. Allegedly, allegedly. Allegedly. This shit is trash. That's it. Just, <laughs> yeah. just keep it going, man. Black, I don't even know why go. we agreed to the basketball Black, shoes. Uh, I didn't agree to it. I just, I'll throw it on there. You want to see it? We'll show them. That's it. It's what it is. Uh, worldwide release of the Pusha T Adidas 
<sighs> EQT the ADV 9116 King Push. Uh, they retail for $200, so if you're wondering what the price is. Uh, basically, I, I mean, I didn't cop them when they first dropped, so. Neither. I mean, it really was. I thought you really was because it's gray. It's gray. I honestly, like, I can't buy every shoe that's gray. It's, like, not possible. I mean, it's possible, but they just don't Very look possible. good. Very um, possible. We'll move right along because you know what that looks like. More gray shoes. Uh, Mita. And New Balance 247 Tokyo Wrap. I liked it. I like it really a lot. I like it. Kind of like it. Uh, it's because it's a New Balance. Otherwise, it's uh, trash. But, I mean, they could have did better with the materials on it. I like that they changed the, the material on the, the toe box, and they changed the, per, the perforations on that it. That part down the middle is gone, yeah. too, which I prefer. Ugh. Anyway, uh, oh, fuck. Under Armour Curry 3. <laughs> Black, white, moving along. Moving on. <laughs> oh, shit. Air Jordan 31, Chinese New Year. Back to back. <laughs> white and gold. Air Jordan 13, grade school exclusive. I don't know what they're doing with this shit, all black. Air Jordan 8, take flight. A lot of people were speculating it's going to be an undefeated collab. People were like, oh my god, undefeated. Ooh. Finally, Air Jordan 8. Ooh. And then they dropped this trash and nobody wants to know. What we wanted, what we got. Yeah, this is what we got coming from here. I, you might actually see like an undefeated rendition that is an undefeated. Only. I mean, like, you could take the silhouette and change up the midsole. Add some white, add more orange to it. Mm, that you might have the a, area. You could put a little bit more decoration in there. Yeah, of just like being green. Whatever. It'll, it'll have been dope. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Air Jordan 12, yeah, yeah. gray school, or for the women, Chinese New Year. And for the men, black and white. You don't like those 12s? No. no you? you? I don't like any of this. So. The upper is all 3M with the white paneling is 3M. I just... I just don't like it. Uh, yeah. So the breakdown's done, thank God. That was like a really long breakdown. Let's That's get a into lot of this. trash in that breakdown. Let's get into this car who business. Uh, <laughs> I had a little Shout bit out to, to the car who yeah. supporters. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, shout the fanboys. Outs. Shout outs to car who, and if you actually like mess with car who, shout outs to you. If you, uh... If you're a bandwagon boy that has decided to throw on car who's because Kanye's wearing them. Within this week. Well, that picture circulated. It was like, like the it was past like three, two four weeks, weeks ago. Two, three weeks, right? Two, two three weeks. Yeah, we started like last month or something like that. And now it's getting, you know, exposure from the sneaker blogs. And everybody's like, I need those car who's. Where do I get them? Concepts throwing up all the car who's. <laughs> hey, guys, check out what we got. We got car who's for you. Extra butter throwing them up. Everybody's throwing them up. I mean, it's marketing, whatever. But they're reselling on eBay. I don't know if they went from hundred dollars to two hundred and sixty to three hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah, I don't. I don't know eBay. if they're getting sold on eBay for his but colorway. They're his, on the they're colorway listed. that he wore. Uh, listen, I don't mind if you if you like a brand and you you fuck with it. That's cool. But if you see Kanye wearing it and you're like, you know what, I need that shoe now. I mean, like two months ago, you're like, this shit is trash. It's still trash. Like like the model. The model the color itself was nice. is is not something I mess with. We'd mentioned two of them like last year, middle of the year, sometime. It was like a gray colorway. It was like, like four of them. It was that one of the out. collaborators that did it though. They had like the Arias and they had the Fusion yes, 2.0s. Yes, yes, yes. They yes. were fine. Those were dope. Okay, fine. Like you like to shoot? Cool. Get in there. You enjoy it. But to now start buying that colorway because he wore it is kind of like foo foo as fuck. Like you're fake as fuck. Like I don't care. Uh, also, Concepts dropped a car who last year. If you fuck with Concepts and you bought the car who because you like Concepts and the collaboration, shout outs to you. That's dope. But like just because you bought that shoe because you like the colorway doesn't mean you fuck with the brand. It means that you like the colorway and you like the store that did the collaboration with that particular brand. That's what that means to me. Uh, people are like, oh, I've been messing with Carhu forever. No, you haven't. <laughs> they definitely haven't. No, you haven't. Probably for like the last month. But like every time, like we walk into a store and we see the Carhu section, we're like, man, that colorway is nice. Wow, the, the material is good. But we wouldn't buy it because there's other shit that we'd rather have instead of that. But it is what it is. Like he would say, they had a C note colorway of Carhus, and I always said like, yo, Clean. these are fire. Clean. They mad dope. But then like something new and better would drive. I'm like, nah, I'm have to buy that. But I'm not buying no car hoops now. Just because of that. I'm not buying them now. I'm not like, like I can't <laughs> not. Then people are like, oh, you wanted the car hoops because Kanye has, or you're only doing it because of Kanye. Like, man, mind your business and shut your face. We're going to touch base on Louis Vuitton as well. I did a little recon this week. You saw uh, those prices? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. That here. trunk. So the trunk is supposed to be $56,000. Allegedly. Uh, I mean, allegedly. No, nothing is confirmed. I 
I had mentioned that I buy some stuff from there. So I was in there again this week to go pick something up and Crazy. I made uh, a comment about the Louis Vuitton. If you are a valued customer at Louis Vuitton, you can probably leave your credit card information for the drop and one or two of the pieces. They're not gonna hold everything for you, obviously, but when the stock comes in, it will be super limited uh, as per Crazy. you know, a Louis Vuitton representative. Uh, also, you will probably see the apparel at Supreme and not Louis Vuitton, and uh, there's not going to be a super crazy release for this also. So like it's supposed to be, or supposedly it's going to be like low key, maybe like four or five stores across the entire world that'll have it from Louis Vuitton. So not every store is going to get Supreme times Louis Vuitton, probably the areas that have a Louis Vuitton and Supreme in the immediate area, like Soho, New York, uh, LA, um, and anywhere else. That Tokyo. Has, Tokyo and London. Uh, and London. But I don't know if Louis Vuitton, well, Louis Vuitton's not that far from there. So truthfully, like, don't get super hyped about it because I feel like it's going to be like one of those things where there's like maybe 20 pieces of each thing at each Louis Vuitton. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to be crazy like that. Uh, either way, good luck. <laughs> also, that trunk is 50, what was it, 56? 56 or whatever, 68,000. Like, it's crazy, though. Like, and most. I mean, it comes with a skateboard deck. It comes with like an accessory. That's, that's, a, different, a, that's a different trunk, though. Oh, so I'm talking about the the real big, the, the, the real big trunk. So is. I believe there's a skateboard trunk. Okay, yeah, that just skateboard fits the skateboard trunk. deck. Yeah. And then there's the actual trunk that has like trays and a whole bunch of stuff inside. Like, that one is the big one, right? Like, from my understanding, those might even be spoken for already. <laughs> so if you think that like, you're gonna be like, oh, let me go in there the day that they drop this stuff, there might be one for sale that that day. Put it on maybe. my credit card and pay it off in ten years. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like that shit's kind of crazy. Like you're you're talking about like artists and like not not just regular like music artists, like actual artists that are into the brand and the collaboration are, are definitely. They're gonna get first dibs. No, I mean they they probably already have first dibs. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I believe it's a purchase thing. So like it's you had to purchase it before it even comes out. So therefore, Crazy. if you if you think you're up on the game and you're like a big reseller and you're like, oh yeah, nah, you better know the price is that. the day of release. Like, nah, there's no such thing as a day of release. Like, it's gonna be completely, don't even, whatever, anyway. Uh, if, you, if you really fuck with the right people, they'll definitely be on top of whatever I'm saying right now and know that. So therefore, you, you probably, if you pre-ordered it, you probably already paid for it for that simple fact that you have to. Uh, either way, so only the apparel's dropping at Supreme, so, like the so, box logos. Yeah, so like that kind of stuff. Probably like denim Supreme. jackets and denim baseball jersey. And I'm just throwing it out there. How about yeah. this, Supreme? I'm just you know, throwing it out there. If someone shows up to the line and they have a receipt from the Louis Vuitton purchase, maybe you should let them in the store and buy something from the store as well. I'm just saying. Just saying. That release is going to be crazy. It's gonna be a headache for a lot of people just for the box logos. The box logo is crazy by itself, so. Yeah, so just favorite. imagine with the Supreme and Louis V. Do you, but, do you have anything going on that we should talk about before we get into the sneaker battle? Um, we have an event coming up February 11th for Tent NYC. I can't disclose any uh, details or information about the event. It's still in the works right now, so. Oh, you don't know anything? Huh? No, 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 we know, but we, we, don't, we don't have it finalized yet. We oh, don't okay. got the, the proper, you know approval and stuff but it's just stuff that we want to do but something definitely happened in february mm -hmm. so when that week comes i'll let you guys know and uh i think that's it for uh tent nyc follow art on my feet sneaker yes. page um for all the uk viewers i will be at crep city in march uh i believe it's march 25th i've already booked my trip so i'll be out there at crep city so show some love if you want to come out uh also if you're in texas or the austin area i'm going down to south by southwest uh, in the beginning of March for a couple days, so definitely be on the lookout for that. If you guys want to link up, hit me in the comment section, tell me some place to go in Austin, I'll be down with that. Uh, also, let's, oh, doing like a giveaway today. Let me try and get a little closer. We got some stickers uh, for the breakdown, if I get some focus. So we got breakdown stickers, and we got, where the hell is the other one? And I got some okay. campout stickers. So what I'll do is, uh, there's two, four, six, eight on this page. I'll give out eight stickers from each in a set. So you'll get a camp out sticker and the breakdown sticker, but you got to comment in the comment section. I'll go by whatever, you know, was in there or do First me a favor. Eight. Let, let's hashtag something, hashtag stickers or something like that. So I could follow it. You know what I'm saying? Like the first eight? Yeah. On the comments? It was the first eight people to hashtag, you know, stickers. Actually, no, let's do two pages. So let's do 16. Do uh, the breakdown stickers. Hashtag the break. Oh no, no fucking camp out sticker in there too. Fuck you. Uh, we're gonna camp do, out stickers. We're gonna do hashtag hashtag stickers. <laughs> yeah, stickers. Hashtag. Uh, it is what it is. 
Oh, we here. Yeah, oh, hashtag we here. There we go. That's a lot easier to write. So hashtag we here, giving out 16 sets of stickers. So eight and eight, or actually, no, 16. Top 16, getting stickers. That's yeah, it. That's it. Easy enough. Um, other than that, you want to do a sneaker battle? I already lost. I won my chunk loss. Ch yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna. You can go first. I think I won last week, by the way. You think so? Uh, yeah. Uh, probably not. I'm pretty sure. I, wait, what was what did I wear last week? I had on the Life of Mars. You had on Ultra Boost Ronnie's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I won that one. So check it out. Ronnie Disc Puma Collab Collab. It's dope. It's clean. See, see how it's focusing? Yeah, it's you can't nice. See us in the background. It's nice. It's right? Focusing. I like that. It's focused, man. Gonna kill me right now. Gonna kill it. Uh, also wearing a Ronnie Fog shoe today. Oh, it's not focusing up for me though. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Nah, alright, so we got Leatherbacks in the building today. Decided to pull these out. I vote for Dabs. Uh, yeah, I vote for Dabs too. Let me, yo, stop going to Tone's face. Trying to get focus on Tone's face. Look at, uh, get out of here. I'm gonna focus back. Anyway, alright. Five. That's uh, this week's shoe battle. Maybe I'll get one for 2017. I don't know, man. Or two. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I haven't counted any of them, so... It's whatever. He counts when he wins. That's the, that's the crazy part. No, I just uh, read the comments and I make a... So... A Gus. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you guys like the content, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you are not following Total My Voice on Instagram or the camp out on the Instagram, both of them will be in the link in the description or in the description area. Uh, always thumbs up or appreciated. And if you have anything you guys want to discuss or talk about, comment section is where you want to do it. So we're getting out of here. I guess we're out, yeah. One. Oh, you, oh, you comment today. Are we? Are we out? Yeah, that's it. We, we're no longer here. We're I was kind of boring today with the EQTs. Yeah, that was, that was like a lot of bullshit. Oh, yo. <laughs> I thought you cut it off. No, 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 it's still on. You're a jerk. No, it's off now. All right, yeah, yeah, I believe you. Come on, don't turn this shit off.